now that we have a good view of the setup of institutions, trajectories through history, uh, the importance of the institutional framework, we have mapped the explicit and implicit narratives of national museums that negotiate meanings, conflicts, directions, also the major hopes for the future. One question, one important question remains. How does this matter to the audience? So the fifth uh, study is led by Alexandra Bunya, and again, university concerns audiences in a set of European countries with a view to mapping the experience of uh, visiting by both quantitative and qualitative methods. Uh, the sixth uh, project is led by Simon Nell and involves extracting the most relevant results. This is uh, uh, one of the projects that go beyond, I would say, ordinary research projects. This is one of the demands for, for making research relevant that uh, is all, all these framework programs are pressing a bit harder than, than uh, other funding bodies, which is a challenge then to all of us. But the work is led by Simon Nell. Um, <clears throat> so we will take the results from the other work packages and insert them in a global context by exploring uh, the working of national museums also beyond Europe and try to find innovative way to communicate these results with the uh, end conference in Budapest, December 2012. In project financed by, this, by the European Commission, a great deal of weight is put on communication, as I mentioned. A communication plan is required to develop the identification of stakeholders and the means to communicate with them. Websites, newsletters, policy briefs, reference groups, material for exhibitions of some of the means used. And we also open for a, a, a Twitter hashtag for this conference if anyone would like to explore that way of communicating through a hashtag unanimous. I'm not sure if, if this is a part of, of, of our generation's way of, of communicating, but we, we try it and see what, what's happening. I know my son is using it at his conferences. Uh, this work is led by Budil Axelsson, who uh, also produced most of these newsletters with the help of, of the other partners. Conferences are, of course, part of the running program uh, uh, and as I said, the final one will be in, in Budapest in, in uh, two years. And it's going to focus on broad participation and on identifying the multidimensional relevance of the results. The major results from the conferences will be available through open access. But a series of books will also come out of the efforts. The best way to keep up is by following this website and to post your uh, your email and you will, you will have the newsletter. To secure the quality of the work, all partners are part of most of the projects and we learn from each other. We are very happy, as I said, to be here in Bologna, which gives us the opportunity to know more about this glorious university, which also have given name to the new system for university education that all Europe are benefiting and struggling with. <laughs> but we do also interact with sister projects and stakeholder organizations. And after, okay, this is a publication actually coming out of the, the older project I, I mentioned on national museums, but, but nowadays I present it as the first book from this project instead. So we have a flying star. <laughs> it was edited by, by Simon Nell and uh, people from, from the old project. Uh, after coffee, we will uh, have the pleasure of knowing more uh, on, uh, on uh, other stakeholders and sister projects that we are interacting with. Uh, and after that, the workshop, uh, the conference has a character of a workshop because we have, as I said, 30 quite massive reports to deal with and, and being commented by discussants who have a certain perspective through these papers. And we will start with that part uh, 
uh, later on with Ilarias Posianis uh, uh, keynote on changing roles of history museums in the making of citizens and communities. So it's three days of intensive work in Bologna to look forward for, to us. And thank you very much for hosting us here to, to the university and Ilaria. Thank you. Thank you.